Yo, 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 welcome back to another video, guys. There's some crazy buffs coming to a lot of different classes here this next weekly reset. I think it's going to change up the meta, what's good, what's not. Curious to see how it plays out. We're going to cover the changes really fast with you guys, let you guys know what's going on. So for Blood Death Knight, all damage abilities increased by 8%. This is a really good change. I think Blood Death Knight was below the other tanks, especially when it, came to, it comes to damage. So buffing by 8% makes a lot of sense. I'm curious to see how that will play out. I'm, I'm excited for it because I've been wanting to play my Blood DK for a minute, and this is a great change. Uh, Feral Druid is actually getting a slight buff uh, regarding the 2-set and 4-set. Following set bonus changes will increase the average number of stacks of the 2-set bonus and cause the 4-set bonus to trigger less often, but provide more agility when it does. So I believe it actually is a slight damage increase. Uh, chance for Shadows of the Predator stacks reset reduced by 15%. Now increased agility by 8% was 5%. So 3% agility increase. That's pretty dope. Uh, let's see here. So we got Evoker, Preservation Evoker. Disintegrate damage has been increased by 15% per pres Preservation Evoker. I'd like uh, there to be more of a reward to using Disintegrate over Living Flame as a Preservation Evoker since it has a high essence cost. I think that's a really cool change. Uh, Beastmaster Hunter, dude, finally. All damage dealt by you and your pets' abilities increased by 5%. This is a great change. They were really struggling. I think when, you know if you're playing normal or lower keys, it doesn't really matter. They do an okay job, right? But when you get to higher stuff, like you start to notice a huge damage fall off uh, for Beastmaster Hunter. Uh, this is a great change. 5% buff. Totally makes sense. Fire Mage. This is really cool. Obviously, it doesn't apply to, to uh, PvP combat for most of these, but we got Pyro Blast damage increased by 5%. Fire Blast damage increased by 10 uh, Fireball damage increased by 10%. Phoenix Flames damage increased by 10%. Scorch damage increased by 10%. Basically, 10% buffs except for Pyro Blast. That's a really cool change. Uh, I've been wanting to get back in my mage, so this might just be it uh, that pushes me over the edge. Brewmaster uh, is also getting some buffs. All ability damage increased by 3%. Nice, we've been seeing that a lot. Rising Sun Kick damage increased by 10%. Blackout Kick damage increased by 30%. Tiger Palm damage increased by 30%. These are great changes, especially since they nerfed uh, them a little while back. But I think they're going to need to do something different with Brew to really bring it up to line with like Prop Paladin, I think. Maybe even Vengeance Demon Hunter with their 4 set. Uh, Mist Weaver, all healing abilities increased by 3%. Now play PvP combat. So another 3% buff. That's really cool. Uh, I still, I don't think Mistweaver is bad at all. I, I think just it's super not, it's not very popular at all. So this is a cool change. Maybe it'll incentivize people to play it. Maybe even me. Assassination Rogue, all ability damage increased by 5%. Good change. They didn't need to this for sure. Uh, see, Warlock, the high frequency of Amplify Curse has been problematic in PvP combat, so its cooldown has been increased. These changes are also noted in PvP section below. Okay. Well, the Amplify Curse is now 60 seconds, was, 50, was 30 seconds. Teaching of the Satyr uh, now reduces the cooldown of Amplify Curse by 15 seconds, uh, was 10 seconds. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm excited about these. Arms Warriors are not performing as well as we would like in single target or low target count situations. So all ability damage uh, increased by 4%. That's great. Uh, fatality, uh, Fatal Mark damage increased by 15%. Deep Wounds periodic damage increased by 5%. Ren periodic damage increased by 5%. This is a great change. I'm excited to get back into Warrior here. I've been wanting to play Arms and Prot, so this is amazing. Do the Prot changes. These are the biggest ones. Protection Warriors are not currently performing as competitively as we like to compare to other most tanks in terms of damage and survivability. This is sick. All damage abilities increased by 8%. Holy shit. Another 8% buff. Auto attack damage increased by 10%. That's really good, uh, especially because of our talent choice. Uh, spell block duration increased by 30% was 20 seconds. <laughs> That's a 10% increase for spell block. That's insane. The value just went up like a ton in this. Uh, there's not uh, there's less magical magical damage, I think, than the first season, but I still think that's that's an amazing change. And then Thunderlord now causes each enemy hit by Thunderclap to reduce the remaining cooldown of demoralizing, demoralizing shot by one and a half seconds up to four and a half seconds. Uh, was one second up to three seconds. Nice. That's a solid chain. Uh, change. We're not gonna go with PvP changes, but this is sweet, guys. This is, I mean, really good. I've been loving Feral Drew. This is a nice small buff. Excited for Blood DK for sure. I've been playing Preservation and Beastmaster Hunter. Really, I'm excited for all these changes. I think they're all good. They all make sense. I don't know much about this Warlock one specifically, but man, these are good. Definitely picking up my Warrior again. I'm so excited. Holy crap. All right, there you guys know. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you like the video. Want to you know stick around for more wild content in the future? Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.